all prophecy must match up with the Word of God. It must match up with what God has already revealed to us. Otherwise, it is to be rejected as false. 1 Thessalonians 5.20 Despise not prophesying. Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. Abstain from all appearance of evil. All prophecy must match up with the word of God. Test it. Your Bible contains everything we need to point us to Jesus and walk his way. It has everything you need to know. You have his spirit teaching you and guiding you. You don't need much more. Bible literacy is atrocious. People perish because lack of knowledge. People perish because they did not have the love for the truth and so be saved. Now God talks to everyone, but so does the enemy. And you must discern truth from error. God does not contradict what he has already given us through his scripture. And if someone comes to you with revelation that does not jive with scripture, run. For the enemy can do false signs and wonders. He can also give false revelation. Now the Old Testament gives us some guidance on false prophets. Deuteronomy 13.1 If there arise among you a prophet or a dreamer dreams and give thee a sign or a wonder, and the sign or wonder comes to pass, whereof he spake unto thee, saying, Let us go after other gods, which thou hast not known, and let us serve them. Thou shalt not hearken to the words of that prophet, or that dreamer of dreams, for the Lord your God prove you to know, to know whether you love the Lord with your God with all your heart and all your soul. Deuteronomy 18.22 When a prophet speak in the name of the Lord, and if that thing not follow not, nor come to pass, that is the thing which the Lord had not spoken, but the prophet had spoken it presumptuously, thou shalt not be afraid of him. Here are some examples. A. Aunt Martha passed, and you want to know if she went to heaven or hell. You don't need to know. Don't contact a medium. All souls belong to God. Where they go after they die, you can't do anything about it anyway. God judges where they go. You don't need to know. Don't ask. B. Someone presents himself with signs and wonders, glorifying himself. Don't worship him. Worship God. Simon Magus was worshipped as a god by the heathens. After being rebuked by the apostles, he became an enemy of the church. Claudius Caesar honored him with a statue. And he became a major source of heresy. Source, Irenaeus, circa 180. C. When things don't come to pass, when a prophet says Jesus is coming back in 1994, 2011, 1844, 2015, and it doesn't come to pass, he's false. He's made millions selling books without apology. Year after year, these same prophets are saying the rapture is coming. Don't go back listening to them. Wake up. Read your Bible. Example D. Adultery by Revelation. These people are pushing revelation that God arranged their remarriage after divorce. It's bad enough these people are in adultery, but they're teaching it to others. One teaches his first spouse is spiritually dead, justifying his adulterous remarriage. Another calls scripture's teaching as legalism. Warning, remarriage after divorce while the first spouse is alive is adultery, and adulterers do not enter the kingdom of God. Man is not to divorce his wife. Conclusion Do not despise prophecy, but test it. 1 Thessalonians 5.20 It must align with the revealed word of God. If it runs counter to it, reject it. Any elder who does not abide in the written word of God automatically is disqualified. Run. It's heresy. Any elder who is living in sin is disqualified. And do not follow novices either. 
it's obvious who they are. Their messages are full of confusion. Reject false prophets. Pray and read your Bible. The Spirit will teach you and lead you out of darkness to the light. 